cloudy, a flurry possible, highs in the upper 20s. Stay tuned for more shows heading your way next, here on the Talking Information Center. Do you have a name? Um, I'm, I'm ripping off the herd if you don't have anything. What's it? What? Corpus Corner's new wrestling show. Go for it. Because that was the name of his, that was his, um, go for it. No, his, his uh, TV show? His new football show? Yep. That's fine. We're using Paige's name. Okay. <laughs> we can change that later, I don't care, but we're starting, we're kicking off with Paige. Alright. Because I love her. Let me handle the intros. You want to do it? Go for it. So Facebook is just Cobra's Corner. Twitter is Cobra's Facebook. Facebook.com slash Cobra's Corner. Twitter is Cobra's underscore Corner. Yep. Yeah. You're in Game Early 33, L-I-L-L-E-Y. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to see that on Twitter too. Yep. The YouTube is just Cobra's Corner. Go to buy a channel. Yep. Yeah. So when the first one pops up. Uh, Instagram is Cobra's underscore Corner. Yep. Is that it? And the website is Cobra's Death Corner. Yep. And we're WDBM now and we're going to bring it Yep. 508 646 Alright, now that it's recorded. Alright. How long do I have to report the song? Go for it. Is it these two? One, two. One, two. Just fade the mic down. And turn it off. Yeah. Go for it now. No? Yeah, fade out. I fade out. I like fade outs better. They're much more badass. Hello and welcome to the very first edition of Cobra's Corner's new wrestling show. Our new one hour show here on Tuesday mornings from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'm your host Chris Hudson, of course joined by my Cobra's Corner co-host Jason Lilly. Glad to be here. Good, good. Alright. Um, like, like always on Cobra's Corner, same, same thing. You can check us out at www.cobras-corner.com. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Cobra's Corner. Follow us on Twitter at Cobra's underscore Corner. Same thing goes for Instagram, Cobra's underscore corner. Um, we are here on WDGM 91.3 in the Framium area. You can call us in at 508-626-4623. I'm Chris Hudson again. You can follow me at C Hudson underscore 22 and my co-host Jason Lilly at JLilly33 L-I-L-L-E-Y. So how's it feel? Your first... My first uh, long-winded... Your first long-winded, shameless self-promotion. I didn't forget anything. And I you think. didn't forget anything. I'm I actually, didn't mess anything. I'm actually really proud of you for oh, that. thank you. I feel... I'm actually really, really proud of you for I'm not happy. screwing that up. Yeah. I have that down to a science. Well, I've heard you say it enough times. This is true. I, shouldn't, I should be able to get it by now. Picked it up through osmosis. Yeah. I will say this. Um, the one that I didn't tell you to, to bring up um, is the one that I sent you last night. If anyone's interested in... We're starting a fantasy baseball league for oh, ESPN. Right. right. Yep. I de- I can't even tell you to promote that one. So oh, that one. Fine. That one's on me. That one's on me. Um, if anyone's interested in joining our fantasy baseball league, we're doing uh, twelve Ross, twelve teams. So me and Chris. So there's ten ten open spots. It's a weekly head-to-head through ESPN scoring. Just tweet us either me him either at me at Chris or at the Cobra's Corner. Or just use the hashtag CC Fantasy, saying that you guys want to join. Shoot us your emails, and we'll send you the invites. Uh, I'm a fan of both of our names already. The, the team <laughs> names that we have. Yeah. I like yours. Yeah. It, Grand Theft of Vado. Yeah. I thought mine was I like clever. Yours. I, like I, yours. I, I, thought, I, I saw. Mine. I saw that. And I'm like, huh. I started chuckling for like longer than I'm proud of. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Because it took me a minute to think of a good one. Yeah. And I thought Billy Hamilton stole my name. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a good one. I thought that was a good one. But, um, all right, so, um, over. well, we should get to some raw recap, I say. I mean, this is Tuesday morning after it's all. Tuesday morning, that's the, the whole point of the show. So what are your, what are your thoughts of them, uh, teasing CM Punk right off the bat, but no CM Punk that night? Did you, I actually just read something through, uh, PW Mania. Okay. Did you hear, um, what happened with Heyman? No, probably not. Oh, gotta love when your Mac just decides to open up, like, it's it's PW Mania that opens up like the the pop ups. Oh yeah, yeah. But since happened in the full screen, they open up in new tabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no, there's report going around through uh, pwmania.com, and you can follow them on Twitter at pwmania. Um, I'm just gonna read it directly off their site. Okay. <clears throat> We hope to have more details on the creative decision behind last night's Paul Heyman opener, but the early word is that Heyman changed the promo from what was originally planned. 
it wasn't like Heyman, quote, went for business for himself, end quote. But what was said is that he went a bit different from what was originally planned. And like I said, all of that is via PW Mania. So Heyman just went off script just to kick the show off, just to screw with Chicago. So I keep hearing people who keep saying, well, Punk's not coming back. Punk's gone, this was just a tease. I, 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe they would go through all that trouble, bring up his name that much, start the show all about him, Here's the thing, though, for him the not only, to be in their plans. The only person who mentioned Punk by name was Heyman. Yeah. They never well, mentioned... They, no, they brought him up in the pre-show. I missed the pre-show. I, I, I missed it too, but I heard they brought him up in the pre-show. I missed that. I'm not sure who said it. I'm not sure Probably what Riley, context it was. He's, he's probably was Riley. I, re I just read that they brought him up in the pre-show. Um, if I had to guess, it's probably Riley. Because it was, it was Riley, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, and Booker. And Booker, and then uh, Josh Matthews was and the host. And then Matthews is the host. I don't see Matthews bringing it up. No, it, was, it had to have been... It was probably Riley. It was probably Riley. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Hacksaw. <laughs> probably no. Um, um, no, I, th I think it's Josh Matthews. Was it Josh Matthews? Interesting. Again, because this is this is the site that we're going to shamelessly plug PW a lot. Mania? Is PW Mania, or at least through me. Yeah. I know you're PW Net, right? Yeah. Well... Which one do you use? Well, I do use PW Net, but um, it's the one I haven't seen. I use, more I lately. use, I also go to Wrestling Inc. That's they're the they're a good site because they don't, they kind of like PW Net kind of sticks to just what WWE announces. They're a little, True. they they don't really break rumors as much. That's why I like PW. They're more like, they're more like an editorial. They give like opinions and stuff more so than these kind of places, and that's why I like both. And you need like a good mix. You see, I added the nice little chat box there. Jeff? I saw. I went last night and I didn't see the chat box. I'm like, because that's just Jason. There's gonna be a chat box. It's me. There's gonna I'm be. Like, a chat I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, he just hasn't put it up yet. There's gonna be a chat. There's gonna be a chat box. Yeah. Do you also notice I had the links? Um, I, I didn't see that. I might have just missed that. Skip Facebook, over. Twitter, YouTube channel, our site. All right, cool. Oh, that's right. I didn't. I never promoted the YouTube channel. You can uh, oh, that was search cool. for Cobra's Corner on YouTube and just filter it by channels. with the very first one. We haven't gotten uh, yesterday's episode of uh, Cobra's Corner, but we're working on that. We'll get up to you as soon as we can. Same thing, I screwed up, and I never got the chance to upload the podcasts either. Okay. So, I will actually be able to get both of those up, because the podcast is simple to upload. Yep. I can get those uploaded within the next hour after the show ends. Okay, cool. So, yesterday's edition of Cobra's Corner, and it's the official name, guys. We're going we're gonna to go with it as the official name is Cobra's, Corner New, Cobra's Corner's New Wrestling Show. All right. That's what we're gonna roll with, and we're gonna we're gonna see how that works for now. That might change over time, but that's what we're that's what we're rolling with. That's right what now. we're gonna roll with for for the time being. But yeah, since we forgot, we didn't get a chance to upload the videos to the to the YouTube channel. I will also get the podcast up by be it by probably no later than two o'clock because I do have class. So I'm gonna multitask, but it's a class with my laptop, so I can get that done. Yeah. But um, we we should get the YouTube the YouTube videos. Especially the the two the Monday show because it's a two hour show. The way we film it, it gets broken down into two videos, and we gotta merge them. Not together. sure why it does that though. I have no. I, it's, I'm it's, convinced it's, it's space. It, it has to be because it's not even like it stops recording because because no, it keeps filming. It's, it's like it's it's seamless when you put them together. Yeah, it is. So it usually just breaks them up in two. So it's one of those things where we. But it was like the last 20 minutes. Like it had like yep, mine 80%. Was the last half hour. It was like 80% on the first and like 20% on the second. When video. I did it, when I did the first one, it was an hour and a half and then it was an hour 32 and then 26. Yeah, that's what it was mine. I knew something was wrong because the whole video, everything together was an hour 55 for us. Yep, and that's how long it was the first time. And the, because and when we, I, we go off for, um, yeah, oh, the break. The show. No, well, not the because we but. keep recording for the show. It's, um, it's the show that's on after us. Right. He goes a little bit long. Um, but and I, we cut out early for yeah the other kid too. And I knew something was wrong when I watched the first video. And it was only an hour and a half. I'm like, there's definitely there's, we were definitely we, were we definitely weren't that short. There's definitely no. some missing. And then I noticed, oh, there's another video of like the second part of it. And then I had to put them together. But you know, well, we'll get those up for you soon. But anyways, I've been hearing some weird things, and and these are just I'm not sure who's saying these rumors or what, but but I can't believe any of these rumors. One of them was, you know how it was Dave Meltzer who reported that Punk was in, he was like the first to break the news? Yep. Well, now now people are like, well, Meltzer, um, we're thinking Meltzer got like sent a fake report. There's actually, or that, that one. Or that he got like a script and he heard that Culture Personality played, so he's like, oh, I'm just assuming Punk was in, but maybe it was just what Heyman did to, because they're saying I maybe he's trying more, to throw him off maybe. Well, I, don't I, know do what have, to think. I do have an update on the Meltzer situation. Okay. Ironically enough, through that same link that talks about Paul Heyman. Um, 
It was noted before, and this is via PW Mania once again. Yep. PWmania.com. Um, it was noted before that Dave Melzar said last week that one of his sources, a top WWE star, claimed 100% that Punk, that CM Punk, would be at last night's Raw in Chicago. Melzar himself sounded unsure that Punk would be there. When Punk did not show up on last night's show, Malzar said his Malzar said his source told him after Raw that quote I was lied to. Interesting. So apparently it's not Melzar who got like fooled around with. It was, it was his the source. Source that got yeah that got screwy news. But but let's just say that the whole CM Punk coming back thing was was a lie. Why would WWE even would just a try to calm down the Chicago fans before they even started, you think? Because here's what you do. You think it was just a... Why do you think the worst part of the show was that last hour? Exactly. Because they, they were waiting... They tried to overkill Chicago early to exhaust them. Yeah. That way, when it came time to actually have, like, the worst segments, the crowd was just genuinely too tired. Exactly. And it's interesting because I never thought they'd actually bring it up, but they had to have just been trying to get the crowd from hijacking around. Oh, they did, that's, and if that's much better lighting for YouTube. Yeah. If that was the their plan, they did a good job with it. Well, he's going to figure that early on in the show, they started out with Heyman trolling the crowd. To I was close. I said Barrett. <laughs> they, they trolled the crowd to perfection with Paul Heyman to kick the show off. Then, after that, they had what was the order of the card? After that, they had, was it... Uh, I'm getting the, the results up. They went from that to... The New Age Outlaws versus the, Usos. versus the Usos. So, Usos and the Outlaws get the crowd involved, and then and the tag titles change hands, which I was convinced was going to happen at Mania, so that there was a dent into my... my, my How long until the Usos drop to the Wyatts? Um... I'm I'm still convinced that my match is going to happen at WrestleMania because Just the other way around. No, same way. Oh, I think they're going to lose it in between. They're fighting tonight. I think on main event. You think they'll lose it literally? If they want to promote main events, you give Chicago crowd something to cheer for, and then their whole thing is main events going to be airing live on the network tonight. Yeah. So you have the titles change hands on the network, which is exclusive on the network, you know, till tomorrow, but. Yeah, it's it's live on the network we now, all, and we all know we have Kane versus Daniel Bryan for tonight. They're stacking. So the show. they're trying to stack main event. This is adorable. They stack main event at the very beginning of its run. They put all these main event matches with awesome promos, and then it becomes complete crap just so they can stack it again because it's on the network. I I, I love that that cycle. Because eventually, once on the network comes, it's gonna go back to being crap. No, I don't see that one happening. You don't think so? No, because they um. They want to promote the network, and that's more of a different well, network thing. I mean, thing. for the first like few months, I think it was going to be good, but, but it's the same thing that happened with Ion. They tried to promote it, but they just did a, you know, a good job for the first few months, but you know, after that, they didn't do it great afterwards. You know, but if it's on the network, I guess it could work. I YouTube Jason left. But yeah, we got a good show for a main event tonight. Something I haven't been able to say in like months. When was the last main event that was actually like, worth watching? There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to combat the uh, for YouTube the glaring in the background. Yeah. Like drastically in studio. Yeah. And even then, I didn't even really do much of a good job because my corners are so bright. Yeah, you look pretty visible. Well, yeah, that's because I just did a lot of work to it. But um, no, back to them like trying to tire out Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Then, after that match happened, we get the new Tag Champs commercial break. Yep. Come back to Big E versus Cesaro. Yep. We got, genuinely, two seconds, a Cesaro swing and Swags interfered. Yep. And then I'm all like, oh, then this was one of my tweets, because I was live tweeting um, mm -hmm. last night with yep. the hashtag CCRaw, which will be our hashtag if you guys just want to talk wrestling with us. Yep. Just... Either that or CCNWS, which is just a mouthful. <laughs> because Cobra's Corner is a new wrestling, wrestling show. show. Just yeah. condense that into one hashtag. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll keep, keep following us on Twitter. 
the show, it's only a week old, so we're getting the kinks out now. Once Give yeah. us till next week, we'll have all the kinks out, and we'll, we'll work out the... We'll get all the little details yeah. settled with. But, um, I was, I remember, I tweeted, and I was like, I just got robbed out of Cesaro. Yeah. And the Shields theme song hit, and I'm like, I'm okay with this now. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Cesaro, I love you a lot. And I cannot wait to buy your new shirt on Shop Zone. Yeah. But um, that w the Wyatt and Shield. I'm like, okay, here's. I'm excited. For I'm excited for this. And they lived up to the expectations. Fun fact: Luke Harper, when he dove out of the ring on onto Reigns, my life flashed before my eyes. It was the greatest <laughs> thing because it didn't go like exactly as they wanted it to. Because you could tell that Reigns had to sell that more than it really happened. Because he kind of like hit him on the shoulders. And he kind of went back, but then he like jumped over the announce table. It was just hilarious. Because you know what it was? I don't think Reigns was supposed to be the one to take the spot. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be um, Ambrose or Rollins. Yeah. Because if it was someone you know tiny, they wouldn't have had to jump. Because because uh, Reigns just ate the hit. It Reigns ate the hit. He's just big. Where, where Rollins and or Ambrose were yeah. genuinely and upshot. He, and he had to sell it, so he had to just think fast. And the only thing he could do was because he he was obviously supposed to go over the the announce table. That's why they do the spot there. Um, but it wasn't as good as um, it wasn't as good as the spear of uh, what is the spear of Harper over the over the uh, or was that um, spear of Rowan over the um, announce table? Spear of Rowan. Yeah. So that one came out a lot better, but still even a match. with, uh, I just want to break down this match. Like I could break this match down all the entire show. And yeah. I'd be happy. Um, even with them having Seth Rollins walk out on the shield, uh -huh. you could still make a case that that match was one of the early candidates for match of the year, even with the walkout. That was a good match. How great was it just to start off? Just, hey, Seth, just go flip. Yeah. Just go flip. Yeah. And get the crowd going. Yeah. That's why I hate the shields that they're breaking up, because they put on such... Like, six-man tags are usually terrible. They're usually just thrown together. Have they, they had a bad one? No, exactly. They, they, They've they had matches they, where it's like Ryback, Mark Henry. Yeah, they, they have like the world's worst. You can have like Great Khali, three Great Khalis against them. And they, they, and they put on a 5 I remember match. one show on SmackDown. It was, wasn't it Ryback versus Mark Henry? Ryback, Mark Henry, and Big E. Probably. Versus The Shield. And it was still a fantastic match. They're just the kings of six-mans. They make every six-man work. And couple that with how good the Wyatts are. Exactly. Like just did, put the, the, just put that match on Raw every week. Did you see my tweet from Cobra's Corner? No. Through to Cobra's Corner. No. Um, I, I want to quote my tweet correctly here. Um, I was tweeting a lot through both accounts last night. Um, can we please have the sh have Shield vs. Wyatt in the best of a million and one? Yeah. It's like, can we just keep doing this? Yeah. Normally, it's like, oh, I want to see this match more. Yeah, so we're not going to give you Punk versus Brian. Here's Cena Orton again, though. No. Exactly. It's like, can we have the Shield versus the Wyatt? It's like, this is this is good. Can we have more of this? Like, I don't understand why that's such an issue. It's like, they're all amazing. Can we just have more Shield Wyatts? Because they click on every level. Like on a scary they really, they level, really how good those, click those, those, like two, their those two teams click. Especially considering how new they both are. And considering they've had a grand total of that's their second match. Yeah, it wasn't like they consistently fought each other in NXT. They really weren't. They in, never entered. Because the Wyatt's kind of the Wyatt's kind of came a little bit after them anyways. Because yep. the Wyatt's were really hitting their stride in NXT once the Shield debuted. So they didn't really and have a chance was, to do that. Because that's what it was. Was the late 2012 era. That's when because when they took those three off of um, the Wyatt's need to like take their place as the top. You know, like that top uh, stable in NXT. Though they were never stable in NXT. They weren't. You're right. It was just Bray. But, but, they ended up going. Okay, we have a th we have a six man that's working on the main card. Let's push these guys harder. Yeah. They like they're and then they were like Bray. Here's a mic. Just go. Just go. It's still amazing how that was Husky Harris at one point. Cause you watch Husky Harris and he was awful. But you watch Bray and he's like, this is the greatest thing ever. Like I'm not gonna completely blame him either for that gimmick because it was just what they gave him it was what they gave him and it was he, it was kind of hard to succeed in that role because he was husky harris like you can only do so much but um if you just didn't know which would be hard to see, i mean if you just didn't know it was saying you would never ever think which that. here's the thing though because of the way he dresses 
both times, mm-hmm. honestly. You would the tats that because he got his, since. Yeah, his hair is way longer, his beard is way bigger. He has a beard? He has a, well, yeah, yeah, he has a beard. Well, he had like a little beard. He had a little stubble, but it was like... It was, it was, it was like, like what you had. Yeah, it wasn't like... Huge. Where he's like been growing that thing out since they put him up on the... Back to... FCW was like Daniel Bryan. He didn't really have a beard. He had like a small beard at times. And then there was a time yeah, he didn't he have a beard at all. had like what you had going and we yeah. cut that off. Now he's like, Kurr. it's like huge. Kurr. Here? Yeah. yeah. Daniel Bryan grew his ridiculously fast too. <laughs> Daniel Bryan's like, oh, I have a regular beard. And then like a week later, oh, there it is. Dude. I'm like, what the hell just happened? I know. It's like, I'm jealous. <laughs> like, Sarah would never let me grow out any of this. Yeah. But it's like, I would like to be able to just do that if I wanted to. I'd like to. to know if I'm... I've never... When mine gets long, I just get rid of it. So I don't even know if I'm if it's possible for me to do it. But I can never, like, wait that long. So I'm being harassed because Sarah's listening to the show. Yeah. No. Never. Ever. After I die. A thousand years after I die. Like, I'm not allowed to, to grow in anything. <laughs> But I would just, I would just like to be able to go. Yeah, that that could be a thing. Because his grew overnight. It just came out of nowhere. It's like, <laughs> I, I was watching, I was watching, um, I was watching the network the other day. And it was the 2011 Royal Rumble, and he was the second man to come out. I think it was Punk then Brian. Yep. And just looking at him walking. Because that out, was epic. It, it was, but this was before the yes. This is like a full year before the yes chance even like exploded after Mania 28. So this was like, just after like. Thank you, this Miami. Was, this was U.S. champion. A little bit after he left the Nexus, Daniel Bryan. Well, he was never technically with well, Nexus. After like he was feuding with the Nexus. After that feud ended. Like okay. you know when he like he came back like so after he was being released. So he finished his feud with Miz. He was U.S. champ at the time. So it was his feud. So with it Miz. was like really early into his WWE run, and it was weird. His theme song was like the actual rise of the, not the electric guitar version. I'm like, I was just like. <gasps> oh, you and it was this fire burns punk, and it was like new Nexus punk. Like this is weird. This is weird. I don't like this. You want to know a fun one to it go back so to? It was so weird. You want to know a fun one to go back to watch? Yeah. Um. Oh, I just lost it. Punk had the blonde in his hair. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, well, uh, punk had the blonde. That I was, was so amazing. unprepared for it. Ah, oh, that was epic. It was cool. <laughs> no, I I want to recommend this one. If you guys have the network, go back and rewatch. From SummerSlam 05, Hogan vs. Sean. Hogan vs. Sean. The yeah. overselling of Sean oh, great. will never not be fun. I love the, the promos leading up when it was like it was like the Larry King things and you'd have a uh, you'd have Sean, um, Sean walk with like, walk with the walker, Hogan Hogan with, with the walker, walker walk it up. That was like, those fantastic. were epic. Yeah, those, was Sean fun. was on his game yeah. for that. I feel bad. I got the I got the the less fun of the SummerSlam Hogan matches. We got Hogan yeah, versus Hogan Orton. Orton. I'm like, I would have preferred Hogan versus Michaels. Well, first off, no crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Second of all, I'm still mad. They should have. I don't know why. And it's moments like that where I hate Hulk Hogan. Mm-hmm. Why? Why win? What? What do you get out of that? I don't know. Well, they were both established stars. They didn't. Neither of them. Randy was still in his. Oh, oh they meant. They meant Shawn Michaels. Never mind. No, I'm referring oh, to his, his one with okay. Randy. Okay, never mind. I'm uh, referring to Randy one. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's different. I no, the, Sha- the Sean one, the Sean one, no, because, the, well, the Sean one I'm still mad about because that's why Sean oversouls. Yeah. Because did you hear the stories? I know it's like oh five, no. and I'm asking you to pull back a lot of your memory in there. No. Sean oversold the hell out of Hogan, mm-hmm. because apparently they were supposed to fight at SummerSlam, and then again at another card. Yeah. With Sean and Hogan splitting, each getting one. But okay. Hogan was like, no, actually, my knees, I have a nagging knee issue. You know what? I know I already agreed to two. I, I can only do one. All right. And Sean was, you know, justifiably pissed. So Sean decided to get his revenge on Hogan mm-hmm. in the ring yeah. by letting Hogan still win, yeah. but overselling all of it. Yeah. It's like, you know what, Sean? You actually got kudos points for being a... Like, yeah. good, good job, you. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... No, that's why I'm bitter at Hogan. Because it's like, come on. What, like, no, I have a nagging knee injury. No, I'm only going to fight once. <laughs> and then comes back a year later. Was it? Was it a year or two years? 
Well, it was it was the Orton one was a year later. It was the year later. It was the next summer. And that's what I was referring to. I can't remember if that was 07 or 08. It was 06. 05, 06. Yeah. yeah. No, I meant 06, 07. Because I remember that was the only summer I ever went to. Because that was the one we went to, yeah. And it was the DX... Um, DX versus, versus the, the McMahon. It was just him and It was Shane, DX versus the McMahon. But then, like, Umaga came out. Umaga, and then Kane the Spirit came, like, Squad. Umaga came out, and then Kane just came and, like, kidnapped him. Yep. Umaga came out, and that caused them to have Kane come out yeah. to cancel out Umaga. Then the Spirit Squad came out. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, so did and Kennedy. Yeah. I think, um, yeah. Kennedy was there at one so. point. Kennedy was there at one point because me and Sam marked when he when his theme played. That was a weird card. That had like the, that, that had the Mick Foley Ric Flair I Quit match. Where Melina quit. Melina like four. Melina quit for Foley. Foley. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, I rewatched that match. Yeah. The um, Cena vs JBL. Which one? The, Judgment Day. Judgment, oh, the bloodiest. One. The the bloody the genuine bloodiest match in WWE it's history. Crazy that, that match. match was insane. That match was absolutely epic. The greatest and I match ever. And I would highly recommend people, Sarah, watching that match because that match was just a thing of beauty. If you don't like blood, once, don't watch it. Yeah, if you don't like blood, don't watch it. But <laughs> if you want to see a point, I know this is gonna sound weird, but when everyone liked Cena, mm -hmm. because that's this was like. The last match he had where everyone liked him. Once, he, went, once he got drafted to Raw, it went all downhill. Because he feuded with Christian and Jericho I know. to start, and everyone's like, no. He, he he was actually not hated until that match with Triple H at, at um, Mania in Chicago. That was the first... Chicago killed him. That was the first real one where everyone just booed him out of the building, and it kind of just carried from there. Because that was the, like the original, like, yeah, we're sick of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. so you're telling me <laughs> that Chicago... Chicago yeah. Booed the face? Yeah. Whoa. Pfft. Yeah, no, exactly. My mind was just blown right there. If you're a face and you're not CM Punk, yeah, we don't like you. <laughs> we don't like you. But anyways. <sighs> Next time, they, if Chicago gets a WrestleMania, can me and you go? Just go over there. Go uh, to Chicago, so stay close. a couple nights. They have to do it. Where, I don't know if they do it, though, because they need, like, big domed areas. or like. They could put it back in the... um. I, I know they're not doing. They that wouldn't as do much. like a smaller all-state arena again. I don't see them going back to those small like raw arenas. Like the one exception could be the Garden, just because of what it is. But even then, they they. I feel like they would have done it this year because every ten years it was the Garden up until this year. It was one was the Garden, ten was the Garden, twenty was the Garden, and thirty's New Orleans. I and mean, that's just because New Orleans blew the garden's proposal out the water. I know, but they could but if they were going to stick to, uh, to, well, tradition, to tradition, tradition, they could have just bumped it the next year and then they have that year. Just to give it, they clearly don't care about that tradition if they're going to break it. I, I get that, but if because they, if they no, because here's the point I'm trying to make though. Yeah. If they go to Chicago, can me and you go because for, for WrestleMania? Yeah. Because just to be part of those. Say, we're not from, just we're from Chicago. No, guys, we're Chicago. Well, I swear, here's my Cubs hat. <laughs> Here's my Cubs hat and my paper I, bags, and we're free to be a Cubs fan. I'd buy a Cubs hat if I was in Chicago. I have a Cubs hat. No, 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 I'm saying no, is I would wear a Cubs hat Yeah. if I bought it from Chicago. Yeah. Because there's just something about that that makes it... Yeah, yeah. Or wear the, um, the Chicago... Or, no, no, no. No, hat I would buy, because it's, it's not pandering in the slightest, I swear. The, the Chicago Bears hat that Punk always wears. Yeah. Or is that a Cubs hat? The Bears hat, I think. Because I know it is a bear, but the color schemes. I'll go get a Blackhawks jersey because Punk loves the Blackhawks. Punk does and, love the Blackhawks, and he Hawks. loves hockey a lot, and it makes me happy. I could use I could use another uh, hockey jersey. So I don't I think I can go. wear the Blackhawks jersey for the beat of some time. So that would hurt. That would hurt my pride. See, I, I'd give you that. That's 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 very. It really hurts. I don't hate the Blackhawks, but it still hurts. How about the time freshman year where I came in after the Bruins lost in seven to the Capitals wearing a Capitals shirt that just to see everyone's reactions? That wouldn't be as bad though, because that was just that was. Just the oh, I know. It was just bad. fun to see everyone's reactions. Yeah. Because how I watched Game Seven, like how we all watched that in Larned in the TV lounge. Yeah. So the next day, I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna <laughs> wear the Cap shirt. Yeah. That was fun. Still don't even know why you had that. Because. I road trip to um. I know, but it, like I didn't know that. My, I was like, why do you, like it was perfect. Like this is like, perfect. <laughs> why? <laughs> because it's an insanely comfy long sleeve shirt, and I don't have many of those. Yeah. Well, no, it's because, because I told you this. Now, when people go on like actual long drive road trips, like cross country or like 
few states over, yeah. they buy shot glasses, yeah, yeah. or like things like that. I buy sports memorabilia. Yeah. So like I'll buy like a shirt or a hat. Like my Harper jersey, I bought in DC. My Deshaun Jackson, my Deshaun Jackson jersey, I bought near Philly. Um, my Broncos Tebow Tebow jersey and my Brett Favre Vikings jersey, I bought those in Florida. Yeah. Like all of my like some of my hats, like remember when I used to have like that huge collection of them? Yeah. I bought all those like on the road. Yeah. Just like going from place to place, just buying the hats. Yeah, yeah. So for me that's not much more of a stretch. No. Yeah, but they, I, I don't see them ever doing Mania in a smaller arena again, which kind of, like, sucks for Boston because we were too cold. I mean, if MetLife could do it, but I feel like they're not going to do that again. They did, they did that once to be like, we did it. We're, Same we did like the cold Super Bowl. Ones. Yeah, exactly. They'll, we're we're going to go back to warm now. I mean, it wasn't, like, a disaster or anything, but they're, like, they it could have been. The, it could have been, and they don't want to study it. So we're never going to have a Mania because we don't really have an arena that can do it that's indoors. It's kind of what I wish we had a dome. Not that this could happen because there aren't any more matches like this. Do you think they ever do what they did with Cena and Dwayne 1, where they announced it a year out? I don't even think there's any matches left that they could do that with. Unless they genuinely did Cena versus Taker, I don't think they can announce any match now. Or not even necessarily, like, right now, right now, but, like, in general. Yeah. There aren't any more, like, those fantasy matches where... It would have to be one it. of those part-time guys, because if you were on Raw every week, it would be weird. You know what I mean? Like... See, and here's the thing, is they... I, I hate the WWE World Heavyweight title because of how quick and under the rug they unified those belts. Because that would be something I would love to see. That was something you build up. They kind of just did it. Oh, Survivor Series is over. And he's it was like literally like a month. Oh like a normal, crap! We need something. It was for the, the it, it was the build up for a normal match, but it was like a unification match. How long did they build up the? Uh... Four weeks. It was only a month. Oh, never mind. Well, that was, that was different. That was a different scenario. We that was completely did it because different he won scenario. both. He wasn't like unifying them. He just happened to win both of them. And then no, 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 that was for unification though. Was it for you? Well, yeah, it was. It was. It was Jericho versus Rock. Oh, and the second one was for unification. And there was another fight where it was Austin versus Booker T. I think it was. Oh, so like or a tournament? Split. Or was it yeah, like that? it was an elimination. It was. Okay. They both got one more title how long defense. Did they, how long did they promote that for? That was they were. Um. Because that was during the invasion, so I'm not sure how long that. It was after invasion. It was just after invasion. It was just after invasion. Well, the Survivor Series was the last thing for invasion because it was a Survivor Series match for control of the company, right? Yeah. It was after that happened. But it, uh, it, was it was a no, month after. It, it was a month after. It was no mercy. But it was that. It's like, hey, we own the company. We want. We need to get rid of their title. So let's unify them. And we'll have Booker T. They unified fight. it for a whole year. They fought. They had Booker T fight The Rock. And Jericho fought Austin. Fought Austin. Jericho beat Austin, Rock beat Booker, Booker and then, Jericho beat, and then the Jericho beat Rock, and they had those three matches at the same night. Yeah. Which is still the most epic card ever, just off the principle of that alone. The greatest night for like any single wrestler. Yeah. Jericho. I mean, The Rock and Austin. Jericho. The same night for both titles. Jericho. St see, this is why I hate like when everyone's like, "Oh yeah, they can have Lesnar beat the Shriek." No, because if you're gonna have someone do beat the streak, or in Jericho's case, like, unify the titles, beat Austin and Rock at the same night, that's something they can hang their hat on forever. Yeah. Because how often does Jericho still go back to that... He's the like first ever undisputed champion, beat the Rock and all... He always says that. Like, this, is, this is part of his shtick. Yeah. It's like me when I promote Cobra's it's like It's like when Kane had the record for most eliminations. They brought that up every... Every year. Year. Every year. Every year they'd be like, Kane the most... And everyone knew it. If you if you were a wrestling fan, you knew how many eliminations he had and what year it happened and who the record was. Yep. 2001, 11, Kane. Not anymore now because Reigns broke it, but they'll have something 2013. Else 2014, technically, 12, I'm sorry. 12, 12 from Roman Reigns. Reigns. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> These are things you inherently know. Yes. And six years from now, when Reigns is a star, we'll still know that. We'll still know that. So I feel like all... Looking back, I feel like the only card after last night's Mania 
But for my predictions, only one of them's like genuinely shot out the water. Yeah. And that's Al honest to God, that's AJ versus Bree. I still think Orton versus Batista is weird if they don't add something to it. Cause it's it, it's heel versus heel, but like they're both I don't it's just weird. It just seems like something's needed in there. And I feel like that's the plan eventually, but I don't know how, because it's not gonna be Daniel Bryan. I mean he has to be fighting Triple H now. Generally I said look at my card. There's only one match I'm not confident with. Why the Divas match? Why the Divas match? No, Mark Henry versus Big oh. E, because they haven't booked towards that. No, I don't... Yeah, I don't... But... Uh, uh, can, I add an ad, can I add an asterisk to this after the fact? Sure. Since Christian's contract is expiring, yeah. a loser leaves town. Yeah, that makes it easier. It makes it easier. Because they keep going back and forth. You have the match at Mania. Do we know when his contract time. expires, though? No idea. I think they just hold him off. What if it's in, like, September? Do they just hold him off TV until it's over, or what? Well... If they're running out of things for Christian anyways... Yeah, I guess. And it's post-mania, so... It seems like a waste, because he just came back from injury like a month ago. I know, I'm just saying. No, I know. But it would be... Maybe maybe you lead up to that at Mania. Like, you have the Mania match, and then the feud continues into a loser leaves. I don't know, maybe something like that. That would just mean they'd be like the blow-off of a feud, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, though, is if Christian's contract is sooner than later... Yeah. Oh, no, there it goes. It's there. Is it working? It's there. Okay, is it, is it going? Yeah. What do? So it actually uploaded? Because it said it was processing when I left this morning. Yeah, it's just struggle. Yep. Alright, perfect. So if you guys want to watch uh, yesterday's Cobra's Corner, it is now live we on YouTube. We are now up on YouTube for yesterday's edition of Cobra's Corner. Cool. I have one last thing you have to do now. It's one last thing. Yeah, but now <laughs> we have to... Well, you have to do this. Well, one, this one should be easier. This one should be easier. It's only an hour long. It's only it an won't hour. be nearly as big. So I will um, do all the the correct website fancy pants additions. Yep. And make that all pretty later. I'm glad it worked. I didn't feel it. I'm like, because I know it said it was like processing, but I wasn't. Mine sure did it was the like, same thing. Okay, yeah. Cool. The first show was an hour and fifty five minutes. This one was an hour and fifty nine. Jeez. Okay. Cool. And this one's gonna be like six minutes. Yeah. Those are those are huge for YouTube standards. <laughs> That's a movie. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I. That's 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 I longer to, than most movies. I had so to I get I had to get approval from YouTube. Really? They had to send like a, an access code to my phone. These are that long. Because that's why to I enable. Because it, it was already enabled on theirs. Because mine, mine was just like, all right, you're good, just do it. Yeah, because I had to um, enable it with YouTube to allow videos of more than 15 minutes. They had to yeah, send you, like you, an yeah, access you do. code. Yeah, yeah, I remember doing that. To my phone. Yeah. So like I had to do that. So that's why it was already set up. So it's just, yeah. It just it takes forever. I remember when I to do the when process. I first I first um I put them together and then when I dragged it into YouTube to upload my jaw dropped because it said twelve hundred and thirty three minutes and I'm just like yeah. oh my god yeah <laughs> I'm like uh calculator how many hours is that it's like it's like fourteen or hours or whatever I'm like oh boy because oh, I started at like eight o'clock so I'm like if it's twelve or thirteen I'm pushing it and then like I woke up this morning and it's like the video was taking too long to process we have yep pushed it back in its queue, but it was like still, I'm like, so is it done or, or what? And it said, video processing, so I'm like, I don't have time, I gotta go. Last week, <laughs> um, last week I went to so my I'm, class. I'm glad it worked. Last week I remember going to my class for, for my writing for social media class, which if there's anyone at Framingham and you need to take an English course, a writing course, or an English course over 300, mm -hmm. I highly, highly recommend taking um, writing for online and social media online and social media with O'Brien Weiss. She's a, she's a wonderful professor. Absolutely love her. But I remember walking to class with the video trying to upload to YouTube. So I'm going like cross campus with my laptop out physically carrying my Mac cross campus trying to hope that that thing will just upload. Like that was that was painful to watch. Um, so where were we? Somewhere in Loser Leaves Town area? Somewhere like that, yeah. <laughs> that could be a good blow-up. That's like an Extreme Rules kind of match, or maybe even like a... Well, what the heck? I, I hate the... I, can, I don't know. I still want to say like Judgment Day, even though I know that doesn't exist anymore. I know. I'm bad. When I think of pay-per-view like structures, it's always like the older ones. Would that be over Remember the back in the day when it was like, hey, every January was this? No, like, exactly. They didn't keep changing. It was easy to remember. 
you had the Rumble, or if you want to go back a little bit, it was like New Year's Revolution, then the Rumble. But after that, it was usually No Way Out, WrestleMania, Backlash, Judgment yeah, okay, Day. Okay, here's the, um... How the hell do you still not... Whatever. Okay. Okay. Um, there's... Oh, yay. <laughs> the next pay-per-view Isn't is... Isn't there a new one this year that's like a brand new name? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, not yet. Was. Okay, never mind. Good. Um, there's Extreme Rules. Okay, good. That's normal for us. At now. the IOD Center. So that's in East Rutherford. So... We love them. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, then it's Payback. Alright. In the Allstate Arena. Okay. So apparently they still hit up Allstate. Then it's Money in the Bank at They Don't Know Yet. Okay. Then it is Battleground at the Tampa Bay Times Forum. I hate Battleground. It's a generic name. I know. Last year's Battleground was the first one, and it was like the world's worst pay per view. Yep. It was terrible. Like, they didn't even... I remember specifically because they didn't even try to give any build-up to it. They didn't even attempt... Well, okay, the main event... It was Ryback versus something. The main event was Orton versus Brian. Right, right, right. It was, yeah. Um, I know I said Ryback. Ryback did something, I think. Sandow, Dolph on the pre-show. Okay. Del Rio versus Van Dam in, an ex in, an ex in a battleground extreme rules match. God. <laughs> For the world heavyweight title. Then it was the Real Americans vs. Santino and Cully. Man. <laughs> Axel vs. Truth. Okay. Um, AJ vs. Brie for the Divas title. Boy. It, that feud is still going on. <laughs> <laughs> then it was the Rhodes Brothers vs. The Shields. Okay. And that was... Was that when the, was that when the Rhodes Brothers won? Yep. That was like a really good match. That was like the only good match of the show. Yep. That was if, um, how the hell was that a pay-per-view match? I'm sorry. The next one. Um, if they won, they were reinstated by the WWE. If the Shield won, Dusty would have lost his job as NXT trainer and the Rhodes family would have been banned from the WWE. Then the, the sixth match on the card was, can't believe I am saying this, Bray Wyatt versus Kofi Kingston. I remember that. I remember that. That was like right after they debuted. Then co-main event was CM Punk versus Ryback. That's what it was. I, mean, I knew Ryback was in an important match. And then Daniel Bryan versus Orton to a no contest. That was like the ninth time they no contested in there. Yeah, some people are really getting sick of watching that. But back to this. Then there's Summerfest at the Staples Center. Which is going to be where they always are now, which is kind of depressing. Then there's Night of Champions at We Don't Know Yet. Hell in a Cell at We Don't Know Yet. Survivor Series at... We Don't Know Yet? Uh-huh. And TLC. Do you want to guess where TLC is at? Uh, We Don't Know Yet. Yay! I, I, I find it weird that one, two, three, four, five, six pay-per-views still don't have venues which is yet. The, which is the earliest one they don't know yet? Money in the June Bank. June 29th, Money in the Bank. How do they not have tickets How do they yet? not have tickets That's absurd. Yet. It's March. That's three months away. It's March. That's three months away from now. How do three, they not... Like, a little more than three months. How do they not have a venue? Exactly. Like, they didn't even do... Like, that's, that, they have to announce that, like, Tomorrow. ASAP. They have to... They'll probably announce it at Mania and put tickets on sale instantly. Yeah. Because that's really late for their standards. That's yeah. late for anything standards. It's late for any standards. <laughs> But, um, yeah, the next one would be Extreme Rules and then Payback for the pay-per-views. Yeah. When does Christian's contract expire? That's a great question. I'm trying to look it up. Um, just this year, from the looks of it, like, we don't really know when. Mm -hmm. Just he may not sign when his current one expires. Okay. Think he goes back to TNA? Uh, no. See, that's an interesting one, because then he can still wrestle. Yes, maybe. I th they, would go, they would welcome him back. Yeah, I mean, 
Oh, TNA. What a, for, for those of you who had the over-under, it took 44 minutes for us to mention TNA. Yeah. I, I had the over. <laughs> I didn't have them getting brought up today. Do you think, think there would be an audience that would be, we should talk about TNA? They should get mentioned. Like, do we do we really need to go in depth with TNA? Because I, I feel like... They can be mentioned. We can give them, like, the last five minutes. That's what I mean. It's like, we can talk about it. But it's so bad. Do you want to talk about it quickly? And then we can um, go back and end on WWE? Okay, well, I like Bobby Roode. I do, too. He, I do, too. He's the new leader of Dixie Carter's team. Which... For lockdown. And if he wins, he gets 10% of uh, the company. Versus MVP, who I cannot believe is... <laughs> Like the head no, no, no. <laughs> you know what report, again, I got through PWmania.com from a while ago. Okay. You know what report I started cracking up instantly at? Okay. You want to know who the two most vocal locker room leaders are in the company right now? In TNA? Yeah. Samoa so, Joe. Yep. This one bad? It's comical to me. Eric Young? No. Is he new? Yes. MVP? Yes. Really? MVP is already deemed I knew a Joe locker was. room leader. That's awful. According to I don't remember, I, it might have been Melzar. What what kind of what kind of credibility does he have? Is it because he was in WWE or just because I think because you know what it is? I think he's, he's willing to take the brunt of everything. So his whole thing was no, you brought me in here to try to save you guys. Of all the names you can think of, how is MVP? He must have been, like, the last guy on their list. Well, that's... So, so... For all you know, he could be the Dennis Rodman. Did you hear that report? What? If, um, and Phil, Phil Jackson did an interview recently yeah. where he was like, yeah, we had a list of, like... When Jordan came back out of retirement the, the, the first time, mm -hmm. we had a list of about seven or eight power forwards that we wanted because we were starting over. And Rodman was the last on the list? And Rodman was last on the list. That's terrible because Rodman was still really good in the Pistons. So it's like, how, I only, I don't how remember, good were those other seven? I only remember who the, the rest of the list was because I don't remember who, I don't remember if Phil Jackson said, but I know that Phil was like, yeah, Rodman was last on our I list. I think it's funny with MVP because, like, TNA has a... You know, they have a track record of bringing in old WWE guys. But their their bigger names are Kurt Angles, they're Christians, they're Hogan's, they're you know, even like smaller big names like Rhinos or like Ravens, like they're like popular if not main eventers. MVP, MVP had a nice little, had a nice little run in there, but he was never a world champ. He was he was US champ for a while. I think that I actually works to his benefit. Because it doesn't make him as brand of WWE. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, he got on the map as MVP, but he's still MVP, he still has his music career, and the storyline that they're giving him, as like the, I still love the, the tweet from Creative, and I'll get to that in a minute, where they're giving him like the investor storyline to try to save TNA. Yeah. I still think my favorite thing was, wait, so one of our fired mid-card guys can buy TNA. Cena can buy TNA with a loose change in his cars. I'm like, that's actually fairly, fairly accurate. There's a show on after us. That's why. Um, it's like, that's actually fairly, fairly actually spot on. That's a thing. Actually, yeah. Cena could buy TNA with the spare change from his cars. Did you hear that? Because we're just going to go ADD for the, the last few minutes, apparently. Did you hear that um, Forbes now recognizes Vince as a billionaire? Oh, they finally do? Yep. In their latest edition of whatever, it was announced in like their newcomer section, like, "Hey, welcome to the club." Yeah. That um, Vince is now in the club. It's amazing to think how rich Vince McMahon is, and he's yep. only just a billionaire. But then you think of Bill Gates, and he's a seventy-six. He's worth seventy-six billion dollars. He is worth seventy-six Vince McMahon. That's scary to me. That's I can't fathom I, that. I, that makes me I cry. Can't, I can't, that makes me want to cry. I don't know how to wrap my head around that statement. How can seventy-six Bill? Oh God. Bill Gates is worth 76 Vince McMahons. And he just, it's just funny to me. That's just, that's just absurd. That anyone could be that rich. But anyways, good for Vince. Yeah, but Vince is now recognized as a billionaire, so good for him. Suck at Donald Trump. <laughs> that was always their thing. It's like, I win! <laughs> I'm there! I'm in the club! <laughs> I think Trump's only barely a billionaire. He's only like, I think he's only like two or three. Yay! 
That's a lot of money, though. A billionaire. Pr proud moments. Sarah apparently already knew that Vince was a billionaire. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. But, um... So, so this is going to be a, sh a, a weekly thing. We haven't had a chance. There has been no new NXT, but I feel like they still definitely need to get publicity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to start off by confessing my love to Paige again. Yeah. That's going to be a weekly segment. <laughs> Jason looks like a fool. <laughs> I, I cannot express how happy I was yesterday when Paige favorited my tweet. Did she retweet you? She did not retweet me. Yeah, you pushed your luck. I did. I tried again. <laughs> I tried again. Because I, I mentioned, I, um, I tweeted out a picture of her theme, like, screenshot it through my phone. Yeah. I'm, like, listening to at real page WWE's theme song on loop to psych myself up for Cobra's Corner's new radio show, at Cobra's Corner, with the picture. Yeah. And I, and I um, tagged her in it. Yeah. But she might, she might still be asleep. She might be. She might be at the performance center. We don't know that. We don't know where. Yeah. But she might be at the performance center. She, she might be. She might be in like California or something. And it's only eight eight fifty one so there. I'm not sure why she would be. But eventually. But yeah, she favorited my tweet yesterday, where I said my love of at real page WWE is unhealthy right now, and she favorited that, and that I think that was the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> Just, just throwing it out there. My my love of her right now is genuinely not healthy. And sad part is she's still number two because of AJ. But if there's any... I, keep I don't know, AJ's ever favored one of your tweets before. You, you make a what? valid point. I have tried to kiss her ass before. It took one tweet to Paige. <laughs> AJ's a jerk. She's like, nah. <laughs> I tweeted Paige once and she favored in that tweet. So I will give you that. No, I can't win. She retweeted... I I'm not going to be able to win. Like, this isn't fair. She retweeted out a photo last night, or from five hours ago, so genuinely last night, um, where someone has her as her phone case. That guy wins. I can't beat that. That guy wins. I can't beat that. What did she do? She retweeted it? She retweeted it. She's like... You need to step your game up, Jason. Well, I can't because <laughs> I don't want to get rid of my well, just phone case. Get a new one, <laughs> put it on for one picture, and then just take it off. No, I want her shirt, though. Yeah? Did they sell it yet? That's already on Shop Zone. She's the number one seller on Shop Zone. She's only had the shirt available since Thursday. Makes sense. That's That, that seems like They released a bunch of NXT stuff. Yeah. Like... They released a shirt for her. They released a shirt for Bo. Oh, I hate Bo Dallas. The Bo Leave shirt. Yeah. They released a shirt for the Ascension. Yeah. Which is a sick shirt because their logo is insane. Yeah. Um, and they just released a couple like NXT like a shirt and a like a lightweight zip up jacket. Yeah. For for NXT. Yeah. I want I want it. Yeah. Yeah. I already have a shopping cart filled out for Shop Zone. Of like four things, I'm like I want the all of it. Apparently three things. Apparently something is no longer there. Yeah. Page's shirt's no longer there for whatever reason. And the network shirt. What the hell? But yeah, I want Cesaro's shirt, the NXT jacket, the NXT shirt, and then they have um her shirt. Which shirts are twenty percent off? I should jump on that right now. Yeah. And then they have a shirt for um, the WWE Network launch. It'd be a weird shirt to wear around. Networks? Yeah. It's simple, but I like it. I don't... You don't wear a shirt for a TV channel. It's just weird. Yeah, but it, it works, though. It'd be good for, like, employees Cause, to wear. Cause well, that's, that's, the kind of that's kind of well, no, like Because this is the shirt. I know. So I, you can I, see I, it. I've seen it. I think that's. The, I like it. That's a shirt more for like people who are like at concession stands selling things. Just to promote it's only it. twenty bucks before it's on sale. So I like couldn't just by getting that over like a merch for a restaurant. Oh no 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 no! Like for me, it, it'd be the first one to go. Like I'm getting, I know I'm buying Cesaro shirt. I'm gonna buy Paige's shirt. Yeah. And I'll probably buy the NXT shirt. But I, as much as I like the network shirt, it's it's not. It's like that's not a thing. Yeah. But I I genuinely love her. She is wonderful. Um, couple minutes left. 
yeah. in the show. Do you want to do the, um, I'll promote the Fancy Baseball site, and then you can do the, uh, the round of shameless promotion. Sure, call the show. Yeah. All right, guys, so, because I'm a nerd in Fantasy Baseball's the thing I'm obsessed with. Chris is into it too, not nearly to the extent that I am, but he's still into it more than most. Um, we are start we already started a fantasy baseball league through ESPN. Um, if you guys want to join it, feel free. It's a twelve teams, ten Ross uh, twelve teams, ten open spots after me and Chris. Um, no keepers going in, so it's just the draft. We'll figure out the draft date once we get it. It's going to be a snake draft style. It's a head-to-head -head scoring through ESPN. If you guys want to join, feel free to let us know. Either tweet me, tweet Chris, or tweet Cobra's Corner. Or hell, just tweet with the hashtag um, CC Fantasy, and we'll get to you. Now, Chris, All right, take two. Again, Have fun with your shameless again, promotion. This was the first edition of Cobra's Corner's new wrestling show. I am your host, Chris Hudson. You can follow me on Twitter at chudson 22 with my co-host Jason Lilly at jlilly33, L-I-L-L-E-Y. You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Cobras Corner. Follow us on our show on Twitter at Cobras underscore Corner. Follow us on Instagram at Cobras underscore Corner. You can check out our website, www.cobras-corner.com. We'll get those videos up for you. The YouTube link, Cobras Corner, just filter by channels. We have our video up from yesterday. Um, we'll be getting today's video up as soon as we can as well. You can call us here if you're in the framing area at 91.3 uh, WDJM. The phone number is 508-626-4623. Um, once again, I'm Chris Hudson. The last two, and this is like the kinks that we're trying to get out, Yeah. can tweet us at... We always promote the hashtag Cobra's Corner if you guys want to tweet us. We will also, if you guys want to talk wrestling to us... Hashtag CCNWS, Cobra's Corner's new wrestling show. So that's the hashtag we're going to be using to promote the show. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. So this is... No, I'll let you do the, the sign off. It's your, it's, your, it's your shtick. Again, I'm Chris Hudson with Jason Lilly. Thanks for listening, guys. Hi, YouTube. We'll get the kinks out. What am I supposed to put in there? This one. Indicative of the. We're, we're getting the kings out soon. You do. We're, we're working on it. First edition, give us a break. It's the first show. We're working on it. We've only filmed three of these. So you're going to cut us some slack. You can pick the camera up. Shut up. See you.